All right, hey, what's up, everybody? Mike Lindsley back with you here at Rosie's Corner, the official pizza shop of the ML Sports Platter. They have so much going on down here. You got to get here. Every single day of the week, there's something going on, whether it's the cruise nights on Mondays, the Tuesday night ice cream social dot, dot, dot media night where you can take a picture with yourself and an ice cream on Instagram or Facebook. Tag Rosie's. You get a free cone right there to use or you can use it later down the road. Uh, they have Taco Tuesdays uh, all day uh, as well. Uh, you've got Pork Wednesday. You have Fish Friday with your coleslaw or mac and cheese, and you get them on Grubhub as well. If you are in and around Central New York, this place is a must-stop. Grab your pizza, grab your wings, grab your hot and cold subs, your fish, whatever it might be. Here at Rosie's Corner, great salads and beverages in the cooler as well as desserts to go. Rosie's Corner, like their Facebook page, follow them on Instagram, grab them on Grubhub, and of course, give them a call. You're in and around Central New York. Get delivery as well from Rosie's Corner, 315-676-3572, just in front of the Burton Bridge uh, on Route 11 off the Bartell Road exit. So I'm watching Game 6 of the NBA Finals last night, and Clay Thompson was the best player on the floor, and I'm going... Before that game, I thought it was going to be Warriors in seven. Before game five, I said Warriors in seven. Because I have to see it to believe it. I have to see them lose. They're a lot like the New England Patriots in a way. I've got to see these teams actually lose in front of my face in order for them to not be up and available and ready uh, and winning and all the rest. To see them lose, to see them in that L column, I've got to see it to believe it. Well, last night, I thought Golden State was going to win that basketball game, and then Klay Thompson goes up for a dunk on the break. Curry hits him, leads him perfectly, goes up and comes down and absolutely positively pops the knee. And he said he didn't hear a pop, but it was indeed a pop. It was an ACL. He's going to be out for a while, and Kevin Durant, as we know, got hurt before that in the series with an Achilles injury. So now when you look at this Warriors dynasty, how quickly things can change in sports. This is a team that went five times straight to the NBA Finals. They won three of them, three and two, much different than four and one, much different than Michael Jordan going 6-0 and for the Chicago Bulls. Now all of a sudden the Golden State Warriors, now look, this is still a really, really good dynasty, it's, uh, but I think it's closer in comparison to the San Antonio Spurs or the Kobe Bryant and Shaq-led Lakers. It's nowhere near the Magic Lakers of the 80s. It's nowhere near the Jordan Bulls in the 90s. It's nowhere near Red Arback Celtics of the 60s with guys like Bob Cousy, John Havlicek, and Bill Russell and company. It's more like the 80s Celtics. It's more like the Spurs. It's more like the Kobe Shaq-led L.A. Lakers. It's more like the LeBron, D. Wade, and Chris Bosh Miami Heat for that matter. Now look, that's still pretty good company to be in. I just listed the top 8, 10 dynasties of all time. I would suspect that people would put Golden State still in there. But now, where are we at? What's the future look like? Kevin Durant was maybe not coming back anyways. Now will he come back because he is familiar with the trainers. He's going to be out maybe all of next year. Clay Thompson isn't going to be back for at least 8 to 10 to 12 months. This is a devastating injury. Uh, ACL injury is, is one thing. Achilles is even worse. Uh, you know, Maybe it's a 6 to 8 month thing for Clay Thompson. But there's a real possibility that you could take Clay Thompson and Kevin Durant and completely wipe them off of the 2019-20 season. There's a very real possibility that these guys don't play basketball next year. Clay Thompson and Kevin Durant right now, uh, again, I think with a full roster, I think the Warriors win that series. With a full roster, could they have lost? Well, sure, they could have. The unpredictability of sports and Toronto had Game 7 at home as well. They could have still maybe won that game. But I think with a full roster and with Draymond Green and Clay and Curry and Durant and Iguodala, who had a very, very good game in Game 6 as well, I just look at that roster. I look at how it's built. I look at the coach, Steve Curry. You look at Livingston. You look at Quinn Cook. You look at a bunch of players. I just look at that roster that when they're 100% healthy and they're all on the floor and they're playing at a high level A to Z, I don't think the Warriors are, are, are even close uh, to, to, to touchable. I think they're an untouchable squad that would have won the NBA title yet again. But now, as it turns out, Kevin Durant gets hurt. He comes back in the game. He ends up popping his Achilles tendon after he had that severe calf, calf strain. He's out. Klay Thompson comes into the game. 
red hot, best player on the floor. He gets injured, and now it's not just about the Warriors losing the NBA Finals in six games of the Toronto Raptors. And by the way, kudos and congrats to Toronto with the job that they've done. Uh, one of the best GMs in sports, pulling off that trade. DeRozan could have kept him, could have kept him and just kept winning 50 games, but they trade him for Kawhi Leonard, a bona fide superstar, arguably the best player in the league. You got the development of Pascal Siakam. I heard Charles Barkley on the Dan Patrick podcast this morning say that the Toronto Raptors' current roster, first time since 1966, it's the first time that a roster uh, has had players uh, no higher than number 14 in the NBA draft. That is spectacular drafting by the Raptors. So kudos to them, kudos for winning. Fred Van Vliet, big-time role players and all the rest. But the Warriors on their side of things, it's not just about the loss right now to Toronto. What does the future look like now? Now all of a sudden, Steph Curry, the face of the Golden State Warriors, he doesn't have a heck of a lot of help going into next year. You might say that the Warriors are the fifth, sixth, or seventh best team going in to next year's NBA season. They went from the juggernaut, the dynasty, you name it, to what? The next thing is what? Is Kevin Durant even going to play next year? Is Klay Thompson even going to play next year? And even if Durant plays, he might not play in Golden State. To me, I think Klay Thompson will end up coming back because I think the ACL is closer to about an eight to ten month thing. I could see him coming back, you know, maybe in April or or late March, playing the last couple weeks of the regular season, getting into it, getting his feet wet again, and then going through the two month playoff grind. Now, some people may say, and Tim Legler said this today on Dan Patrick, that uh, you know maybe you don't want to do that. Maybe you don't want to put a player through that two month playoff grind. It's a very Odd, uh, uh, dynamic. It's it, it's kind of a conundrum uh, when you have a player of Clay's status. Maybe you just tell Clay and Durant, screw 1920, come back 110 percent. And again, this is if Durant comes back to Golden State to begin with, and then we go chase a couple of more before you guys are done. I have no idea what's going to happen. Now you have the Kevin Durant situation. It's twofold. You got him with the Achilles. Could miss the entire season and postseason next year. Plus the pending free agency of July 1st. That is not that far away. We're a few weeks away before we figure out where Kyrie Irving is going to go, where Kevin Durant is going to go, if Anthony Davis is going to get traded, etc. moving through this NBA summer, which should be really wild. What are the LA Lakers going to do with LeBron James and company? This is going to be a fascinating NBA free agency. But now all of a sudden from the NBA Finals, the whole picture of the free agency has changed because of Kevin Durant getting injured and Klay Thompson, of course, who we expected to get the max deal in Golden State. Let's see what happens on that front as well. I would have given it to him a long time ago. I know he just got hurt. I'd still give it to him. The guy's amazing. He's one of the best pure shooters we've ever seen. He's been a major, major force as a splash brother for the Golden State Warriors. And oh, by the way, final thought on this with the Warriors. Horrible timing for Kevin Durant to get his Achilles injured, Klay Thompson going out with the ACL and all the rest. Golden State's going into a new arena next year. This was the budding, lasting dynasty that was still going. Five straight finals, even if you lose this year against Toronto, but you have Clay and Curry coming back. Even if Durant doesn't come back, you go out and get a couple of replacements. Hell, maybe you go after Kawhi Leonard. Think of it this way. The Warriors dynasty, we thought, was continuing, 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 with a new arena, with all the excitement, with all the finances, all the rest. And now... Steph Curry is left to carry the load, and Bob Myers, the general manager, he's going to have a very, very challenging summer, and of course, next season, depending on who's on his roster. But I would not expect Kevin Durant to play at all next year, and then also Clay Thompson, my prediction there, is that he'll come back in the back end of March, maybe April. I think he'll be a Golden State Warrior. I don't think Durant will be a Golden State Warrior. I think he should stay with Golden State, stay with familiar places, stay with familiar trainers, stay with familiar faces, get into that new arena, come back strong and all the rest. I don't think he's going to do that, though. I think he's predestined to kind of go to the LA Clippers or perhaps go to the New York Knicks. I think both of those are a mistake for him. Neither here nor there. I don't think he plays basketball next year whatsoever. The Warriors dynasty has all of a sudden changed in terms of the period of time that we thought maybe it would last. Maybe right now today, it's actually over. Rosie's Corner is the official pizza and wing shop of the ML Sports Platter. Get here, like them on Facebook, and follow them on Instagram. I'm Mike Lindsley. Thanks for watching Nine Minutes with Me on YouTube, Facebook, and IGTV. And as I always tell you, enjoy the games.